Hey guys! I'm gonna talk about autism and touch and my personal journey with it. Um, when I was younger, I didn't like being touched very much. And, you know, some people are like, you know, why don't people, like, why don't people with autism like to be touched very much? Um, whenever I get touched unexpectedly, it does cause, like, physical pain. It feels like really sharp knives going into your skin. It's very odd. Like, if you have lupus, it's very similar to that. Like, my, uh, I've known a lot of people that have lupus, and the pain that, you know, people get when we're autistic, like, autistic people get when you get touched, sometimes it can be very similar to that, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's sad, too. It's really sad. Um, you kind of, I had to get used to being touched. Like, when I was younger, I didn't want to be touched very much, but my mom wanted me to get over it. So what she did is she would forcibly touch me, like, you know, just hug me and stuff, even though I didn't want to be hugged. She's like, Lenny, you got to learn how to suck it up. And that kind of helped me get used to being touched a little bit, but it's still kind of painful. Like, if you get grazed in the middle of the hallway, it's kind of almost being super vigilant, almost. So, like, when you wake, like, if my sheets go the wrong way, I wake up in the middle of the night, because I'm like, what, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And, you know, honestly, it makes it kind of hard sometimes. It really does. <laughs> My hair. Um, I, know, I know it's not Christmas, but we haven't put the tree up yet. Um, <laughs> but it just, it makes it very hard to, you know, get touched and all that. And it kind of, when you're in relationships and stuff, I guess it can be a little bit of a drag on relationships and stuff too. But there's also a lot, like, when you're, when you're an, like, autistic person, you like to hug people, but you don't like people to hug you. It kind of, like, you like touching people, but it has to be on your terms. That's kind of, that's kind of, like, how everything works, I guess, with autism. Because if it's completely unexpected, it's painful. And I still have, like, bouts of, like, hey, mom, I can't, I can't let you touch me right now. I don't know why. It's super painful. And it's just really weird because it's like little needles in your skin sometimes too. And it's just little things that can just set off. Like when you're, you can be hugging on someone and just in love and just like hugging all over them. And then all of a sudden, I can't do this anymore. And they're like, why? And I'm just like, because it's so hard to explain to people. Especially people that don't understand autism. It's very hard to explain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It don't touch me right now because it's kind of painful. <laughs> and it's just, it's, it's, it's very hard. Um, but my mom doing what she did and forcibly hugging me and stuff did help me get over some of the issues. But it didn't really get over all of them. It still is quite painful to be touched. But honestly... That's something you can't really work on. It's something you can get a little bit used to, but it's it can't be like it. There's nothing to stop it. It's just you're in the mood to be touched. Or you're not in the mood to be touched. It's just I guess maybe it feeds off our emotions too at the same time. Because I noticed when I'm a little stressed out, it's painful to be touched. But when I'm real happy, most of the time I'm fine. But sometimes it'll randomly pop up to where I can't be touched, and I'm like. Also, a lot of people, uh, when you're autistic, you rock back and forth, and a lot of people want to ask me about that. You know, my father, uh, my father wouldn't understand why I would walk back and forth. He's like, stop it, stop it. And my mom's like, let her do it. There's no harm in letting her walk back and forth. And I, when we started doing to, a, like, a whole bunch, like, national trips and stuff to do, um, you know, my music and stuff, and I couldn't really go back and forth. I couldn't, like, rock. I couldn't do any of that. I, I lost a lot of my creativity. Apparently, a lot of my creativity and happiness is linked to me being able to walk back and forth or rock back and forth. Like, when I'm in my bed at night, I'll rock back and forth. I mean, I know a lot of people that aren't autistic that do this, but it's, it's not just a comforting mechanism. It's a lot more than that. It's a lot more complicated than that. It's almost tied to our emotions. It's kind of, it helps us to split. It helps us process our emotions. It's not just a set of like comfort. It kind of helps us understand our emotions better. It helps us, it's like, you know when people go to sleep and it helps them filter out their brain and what they've gone through the day? Rocking back and forth helps us with that too. It helps us cope with things. It, help us, it helps us 
I don't do as good at school when I don't do it. I don't do, do as good when I'm doing creative stuff when I do it. I'm not as happy. A lot of my happiness is tied to me being able to um, walk back and forth, run back and forth. And a lot of times, I'm just thinking about random stuff, stuff that makes me happy. And it's a good thing. So if you're, you know, like if you're autistic, your kid's autistic, let them walk back and forth. Let them, you know, uh, rock back and forth because I walk back and forth across the floor all the time. I discovered that on the average day, I take uh, 15,000 steps. So at least I'm getting my exercise in. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope this kind of like makes people understand why, you know, that you can have touch sensitivities with autism too. And also the rocking back and forth thing is kind of, it's, it helps. It helps us comfort ourselves, but also helps us process things. And it also helps me personally be creative and be happy and be sweet. It's just like a stress reliever. It's better than anything else that I've ever had in my life as far as relieving stress. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and feed the good tree.